Good morning, Del Oro. I'm Avery Peck. And I'm Emma Claire Rock. Today on Del Oro News, we'll take a quick look at some of the newest cell phone apps, speak with a representative from the United States Army, and get a lesson in Del Oro parking lot safety. Did you know that phones with the Flappy Bird game sold for thousands of dollars after it was removed from the App Store, with the top sale coming in at $99,900? So after realizing that our generation is really bored, we decided to help you get some entertainment back. Here's Matt Berger with this week's Pop Culture Update. Hey Dio, I'm Matt Berger here for your Pop Culture Update. Today we're going to be talking about phone apps and games, because what else do you do in a boring class? Some of the top games in the App Store today are your usual Candy Crush, Temple Run, Subway Surfer, and Angry Birds, and a lot of you have the Pocket Minecraft app. But what if you've already played all those games and you're looking for something new? Don't worry, I've got some fantastic games for you to waste your time in class with. The first one is a physics-based game, Newton, where you have to use your skill to shoot a target, all the while mirrors, traps, and laws of nature trying to deflect your shot. The game Redstone is a puzzle game about square shuffling, but trust me, it's quite a lot of fun. Stardash is a side-scroller. Players will be reminded of Mario, but it's a fun, challenging game with endless playability. The game Gyro makes the most out of touchscreen phones with original gameplay, simplistic design, and beautiful layout. For Jello News, I'm Matt Berger. Thanks, Matt. Now, if you're not lazy, you may be motivated to take action in defending our country. I wonder what joining the army would be like. Really? You? Yeah. Aside from serving as an active duty soldier, there are over 150 jobs available within the Army. Don't they have, like, height requirements or something? I'm tall enough. Here's Staff Sergeant Cotto with more information on joining the Army. Um, the reason why they should join the Army is to help prepare them for, for after high school and college. Most students nowadays who graduate high school aren't marketable. Well, actually, because you're part of a team and you actually have the, the common desire to actually achieve and win, most employers, matter of fact, all employers nowadays want that. They want someone who can go above and beyond. As far as college is concerned, you are guaranteed $4,500 for colleges. Most colleges, and when I mean colleges, I just don't mean technical schools. I mean universities as well. Actually, will also pay for their books. Uh, you can be stationed here in California, or even go to Hawaii, Italy, Germany, um, all those different locations overseas and statewide. One, one of the great benefits of joining the Army is actually to guarantee job placement. Um, provided you qualify by taking the ASVAB test, you're actually able to sit down with us and we show you every career path that you actually qualify for in writing before you do anything else. Not only that, when you graduate job training to us, which is called AIT, you actually gain anywhere from 12 to 36 college credits that are actually guaranteed one for one for your major university to actually accept. We appreciate all of our military and the sacrifices they make to keep our country safe. Certainly. Now, if you don't want to lose your hearing with guns, you can do it with drums this Saturday. That's right. Winter Percussion and Guard Championships will be held right here at Del Oro all day from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. with over 100 performances in both Bonner and Yakoti gyms. It's going to be quite an event. And on the topic of supporting schools, you should also start thinking about going the distance. Go the Distance is an annual 24-hour relay run put on for the benefit of Delaware Athletics and the Loomis Basin School District, and this year it will be held on Friday and Saturday, May 9th and 10th. We get out of school early on that Friday to participate in this event, and there's going to be tons of great vendors out there for the entirety of the race, all 24 hours, a bunch of different food vendors, massage vendors. It's going to be a great time, just a party really for the entire time. Um, to get involved in this race, uh, you need to form a team of 10 members, one of which will be the team leader, who will be responsible for assigning the rest of the team their spots for the run. Um, each team will cost $1,000. Uh, teams are responsible for fundraising for this money or coming up for it. Um, reaching out to your community and helping, asking them to help sponsor with this will be a great way to fundraise for this. To get involved, go to www.gothedistancerun.com or come by the leadership room anytime and we'll, we'll get you the forms you need to sign up and make a team. 
Don't delay in signing up and start training. The weather this weekend is looking to be pretty miserable, so if you want to get your tan on, then you'll be disappointed. Let's take a look at the upcoming forecast. It's going to be partly cloudy and fairly warm tomorrow, but Saturday there are going to be some showers, and the same for Sunday. Don't worry though, Monday and Tuesday will bring some nicer weather for all you athletes out there. Finally, the Delaware parking lot has turned into quite a dangerous place. We all need to be doing our part to keep things safe on campus. Let's take an inside look at one of the more dangerous places and what you can do to keep it safe. As always, thanks for watching this week's episode. I'm Avery Peck. And I'm Emma Claire Brock. You stay golden, Eagles. And I'm Olivia Turner. <laughs> My, like, ribs. What's my face? Hey, we good? We good? Come on. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> what, what was that? Look. A yawn. Yeah, you good. Was it a yawn? Call me a d <laughs> You were laughing at her and I was laughing at him. <laughs> 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 what? It's like one note.